racing to the 2020 Breeders' Cup, and this time, let's take a look at the Juvenile Turf Race. This will be on Future Stars Friday. It's one of five races featuring two-year-olds and some outstanding horses could potentially be coming over from Europe. Again, what we're doing here is taking a look at some of these top contenders in each of the races, so that way, as we get closer to race day, some of these horses and performances, you kind of have a little bit of an opinion, um, but you want to wait to see final fields, final post positions. We've already got previews up of the Distaff, the Classic, and a few of the other divisions, and we're making our way through the turf races now. We're going to take a separate look at some of the Europeans next week. But we're getting closer to the big day, and I wanted to talk about Battleground. Now, this is the type of horse that comes over from Europe, and what I like is when those horses from Europe have shorter races, they tend to run longer distances well in America, mainly because the courses are more demanding, they race up hills, they have longer straightaways, and the finishing of of those races so you take a horse like battleground who ran seven furlongs in his last race a lot of times those horses run well in america at a mile or a mile and a sixteenth same thing with a mile and a quarter horses over in europe i like those horses at a mile and a half over in america so it's just something i've learned over the years horses in europe tend to run longer in america one because they're in better condition Two, they also sometimes add Lasix, which can make a little bit of a performance enhancer. So Battleground, trained by Aiden O'Brien. What I like about it is he ran wide around uh, the turn in that race, in the most recent race in Europe. Two stakes wins, including the vintage stakes in his most recent race. He is listed as the four to one favorite in futures betting. Catman picked up a win in the Laurel Futurity the last time out. He was 10 to one. He's 15 to one in the early betting overseas. And I like the kitten's joy because he'll probably get better. I think there's still a little bit of room for improvement and his buyer speed figure could get better in his most in his next race. Gretzky the Great, this is another one I want to talk about. Now this is a horse who picked up a nice win with a good Brisnet speed figure in his last race, but everything was in his favor. He sat in second place the entire race, then when the leader kind of tired a little bit down the stretch, he did pick up the pieces, drew off to victory. Another thing is the top two really separated themselves from the rest of the pack, so a lot of times in these two-year-old races, on the turf, these horses do not want to pass other horses unless the fractions get a little bit heated up. So sometimes you got to take the context of the race. So Gretzky the Great, I think, is a little bit flattered by that last race because of the race shape and the way nobody else really kicked on late. Meanwhile, Into the Sunrise is another horse that has a potential. I like the fact that Wesley Ward trains this one. He does well with two-year-olds. He's already ran on three different turf courses, so he's got some experience in that division. Mutasa Beck for Todd Pletcher picked up a win on the turf the last time out in the Bourbon Stakes. He broke his maiden at Saratoga on the dirt, was well bet down that day, then tried Jackie's Warrior on the dirt, and there's no disgrace in that race as everybody that's faced Jackie's Warrior has ended up getting dusted. I like the fact that in the last race, again, it was more of a race shape. They purposely went all the way back to last, made one big swooping move. He took the turf, does have some turf pedigree. I wouldn't be surprised if he goes back to the dirt after this turf race, especially early on in Gulfstream next year in 2021. Mutasabek, definitely a contender coming from off the pace. Meanwhile, one ruler for Charlie Appleby comes over, has a graded stakes victory. Pivotal mission for Graham Motion. I think he can get a little bit better. He was bet down. He ended up fourth in that Laurel Futurity to Catman, but I think a fuller field and some faster fractions and pivotal mission could possibly improve his speed figure. And then rounding out the contenders is public sector. You can't throw out a Chad Brown horse, at least when you're taking a look at some of the top contenders. Another one with a European pedigree and running style. I think that will benefit a little bit of cover. And I think the jockey, uh, Jockeys will definitely play a role in this race. We've seen over the last few years, we've had some fast paces and horses that tend to work out a good trip. Also, I think a horse like Pivotal Mission 
and battleground will benefit if the course is a little bit off and gets a little bit of rain. So that's an early kind of look at the juvenile turf. A lot of Europeans that are being considered, once we know a few, a little bit more of which horses are actually coming over, we'll do an update on this video. Meanwhile, leave a comment below, who do you like? Remember, hit that subscribe button as we release all of the Breeders' Cup videos. You'll know when they're out and hit, ring that bell for notifications as we'll be doing previews of all the 14 Breeders' Cup races. Hit that subscribe button, smash that like button as we lead you up to the 2020 Breeders' Cup.